The term catheter is derived from the Greek word meaning to let down or send down. The Romans used the word demisorium, meaning what is brought in. Emptying the painful, overfilled bladder must have been one of the problems of mankind since ancient times. Catheterizations were reported to have been accomplished with reeds, straws, and curled up palm leaves. The Chinese used leaves of allium. In the Indian Vedas, some catheters were described as coated with ghee form butter, and the Egyptians may have even used gold to make catheters because it's soft and malleable. In 1752, Benjamin Franklin created a flexible silver coil catheter when his brother, John, suffered from issues related to urinary retention and kidney bladder stones. Catheterization with a metal catheter was extremely difficult and was known as tour de maître, attributed to Marischal. Only a few doctors and surgeons were able to perform this tour de maître. Elastic gum or rubber catheters for various procedures were invented in the 19th century, a big step forward. The sonde en caoutchouc rouge of Neliton red rubber catheters were introduced, the basis for the Foley catheters. And amazingly, these catheters aren't much different than the red rubber catheters some people still use today. Throughout the 20th century, intermittent catheterization was not recognized as a method that patients could perform themselves in community settings. Urologists advocated only laborious, sterile catheterization because of the perceived risk of bacterial infection. But this changed in the early 1970s, when Dr. Jack Lapidus demonstrated that this procedure could be safely performed as a clean technique, rather than totally sterile, potentially without causing infections. Dr. Lapidus collaborated with the mentor Coloplast to introduce the first medical-grade PVC intermittent catheter, allowing people to catheterize themselves in their own home bathroom. A decade later, the first hydrophilic coated intermittent catheter was introduced in Europe, a PVC catheter with a coating activated by adding water into the packaging. A big step forward in the world of catheterization. In 2000, Coloplast started the journey to redefine the standard for intermittent catheterization. By working closely with clinical experts and conversing frequently with patients who use catheters daily, Coloplast introduced SpeedyCath, the first ready-to-use hydrophilic intermittent catheter. This allowed every individual to use the product anytime and anywhere it was convenient and was a major milestone for many patients looking for more autonomy. Studies show that the SpeedyCath catheters cause less urethral trauma and a lower friction force during withdrawal. Since the introduction, catheter users have a clear preference for hydrophilic catheters. In 2005, Coloplast introduced SpeedyCath Compact Female, the first compact hydrophilic coated intermittent catheter to suit the anatomy of the female body, often referred to as the lipstick catheter. It is three and a half inches long, offering women a catheter that is both easy to use and discreet. Today, the SpeedyCath Compact Female is one of the most preferred catheters used by females in Europe. Coloplast continues to innovate, in 2010, the world's first intermittent catheter with telescopic technology was introduced, SpeedyCath Compact Male, soon followed by SpeedyCath Compact Set, a compact closed system. Since the introduction of the first compact catheters, the preference has changed. Compact hydrophilic intermittent catheters have become the new standard for intermittent catheterization. Design does matter for patients and for coloplast. Coloplast is proud to have been recognized by industry standards and have received numerous awards. And the progress continues today. Coloplast continues to strive to make life easier for people with intimate healthcare needs. With this goal in mind, Coloplast puts consumers first, listening to their needs and challenges and getting their feedback to create better designed products that break the mold and improve quality of life for those in need.